What is up, everybody? Hungry Cabagon here. I've got some Pokemon mystery packs for you today. I splashed out a little bit. I got 1,000 yen ones today. And uh, I have nine because I kept buying them until the machine ran out and I have the last one. So it should hopefully be something pretty good. I actually can't remember. This was the last one, I know for sure, because I left it on the top. But I. I can't remember what the top prizes were. There was a few cards that I... I think there was two that I didn't have and two that I did have already. So hopefully we get one that we don't already have. Uh, but anyway, let's see what this machine is like. Because this is from a different shop. It's not quite as generous as the one I um, I usually get. The 500 yen ones. So we'll see what we get for our money's worth. Alright, we got a guard for character rear. That's nice. Okay, we got a uh, Bonnet character rare, and then we got a Diancy character rare. No, these are art, this is art rare. That's going to get confusing. Um, so, mm, I mean, three cool looking cards, but for our ten dollars or our thousand yen, I hope we can do a little bit better in some of the other ones than. If this is the baseline, it's mm, it's okay. Like I, the cards look sick and they're very nice, but they're not particularly expensive. So, like probably realistically, most of them are around a hundred yen each. So, it's probably not such a good um, return on investment for us, but that's okay. Like I, I always kind of say with these things. If we can get like half of what we paid, I consider that to be like half decent, which is it's crazy, I guess. But all right, nice. We got Malamar. Um, but, you know, at least then you feel like I got something, you know, but um, this I'm not sure yet. All right. We got Rockruff. So are we just going to get character rares for everything or art rares? No, we got a Radiant Gardevoir, which does look nice. This card was actually... Um, Quite expensive, like 2,000 yen-ish, um, but then it got reprinted in this set. This is the reprinted one. Uh, and now it's very, very cheap. But uh, still looks nice, though. Nice, shiny Gardevoir to go with that other Gardevoir we have here. So, yeah, I mean, like, it's it's not this is not terrible what we're getting, um, but for the art rares and the character rares, like, they are kind of a dime a dozen because they're reasonably... You know, they're easy to get. You get a few in every box. Um, doesn't mean they don't look nice. I do I do welcome getting lots of extra ones. But, like, just on my table right next to me, I have, like, <laughs> all of these ones. So, um, these are just other ones that I've got out of mystery packs. So, I have a lot of them. These are extra ones, like, doubles. So, um, yeah, that's just... A pile that I found <laughs> that's sitting right next to me. I'm trying to organize stuff a bit better. Um, so I'm hoping... Oh, this one looks like there might be something good in here. Um, I'm hoping that... Uh... <laughs> I was going to say, I'm hoping we don't get so, so, so many doubles, but that's cool. I'll take it. All right, what is this? Ah, it's Eternatus. This is the one that I kept pulling out of all my V-Star Universe boxes. So we do have a few of them, but... I mean, at least that card is not a reprinted card. It is a a new card for that set. So I do like this Rockruff. That's a nice looking card. Got Kukui there wiping the floor <laughs> around around the Rockruff. So yes, I I don't mind getting a bunch of these, but they are cheap. Like um, so, we'd be better off just buying a ton of them rather than getting expensive mystery packs and um, and pulling them. But anyway, let's see what's in this one. Hmm. All right, we're getting different stuff. Magnazone. Mel, what does that mean? There's something good in this one. Manaphy. Okay, that's a good one to get. Playable card. All right, I'll take it. Manaphy is nice. Still feel like this... Mm, like, I know we got the last one, so it's all good. But, like, if we didn't get the last one, it would probably not be very good value for money. But, like I said, we have the last one, so there will be something good in that one for sure. 
just have to wait and see what it is because we bought nine at uh, 1,000 yen each. So it's pretty pricey. It's not the cheapest around. This looks like it might be a something textured in this one. <laughs> All right, Sneasler. And then... All right, we got uh, Blanche. I actually don't think I have her. I think I have the other two uh, team leaders. I don't think I have Blanche. So we'll take that. That's cool. Still... I wouldn't call that like a hit from the machine because that card costs like 400 yen. So it's still not really so hot. Like I said, the one where I get the 500 yen mystery packs, way more generous in what you get. But this one, like you have potential to get way more expensive cards, I should say. Not necessarily better, but more expensive. So it's kind of like more high risk, high return. Um, but looks like we're getting a lot of character rares and art rares okay got a flap one now we got another eternatus all right so yeah like i said if we didn't get the last one if we had have stopped at eight we probably wouldn't be looking so hot who knows like i've had a lot of mystery pack videos where at the time it doesn't seem like it's that good and then you kind of go back later and you're like oh that card is worth a lot of money now so I actually saw like an interesting concept, a guy, he bought like mystery packs and then he didn't open them for like a year or two and kind of go back to see. And I, I think you would find a lot of the time, if you opened it two years later, there would be a lot more value in it than if you open it right now, which is kind of funny. The cards do tend to go up in value. So, um, over time, obviously, so we got another guy to bore. So, yeah, I mean, maybe that's kind of an interesting idea. I don't know if I could resist, but... Oh, we got Latias. All right, we're getting a newer one. This is an art rare. That's a nice one. I think... I feel like I don't have a double of this. I don't know. Maybe it was in that stack that I just went through. But that is one I don't have as many of. Like, uh, some of these ones I feel like I have a lot of already. But I, I don't think these will ever be, like, you know, not popular. Whether they'll be worth you know, more than what they are now. We'll have to wait and see, because there is a lot of them, obviously. Not, like, particularly rare or anything, but they do look very nice. And there's getting to be a lot of them now. Um, I still don't have all the art rares from the newest set, but I'm just kind of waiting for them to become, like, a dollar, so I can buy them as well. Now, what is this one? This one might have something, because it's got... just regular Vs in there. What is that? another mana fee so yes um like i said if we had paid just for this we would not be looking very good like i would be kind of devastated is not the right word <laughs> but right, i'm gonna put these ones in just to i'm gonna reuse the sleeves because these cards are just going in the box um so yes i wouldn't be devastated but i would be a little bit like ooh, wait a minute that's a that's the sleeve I was talking about. This one. Um, but we have the last one, so it's all good. Alright, which way do we need to go with this? Let's see what we got in here. Alright, we got uh, character rare. So this is our good card. Let's see what it is. Oh, alright, okay. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good one to get. Um, is it worth 9,000 yen? At, at the moment, I would say definitely no, but uh, it is a Charizard, so it's a good one to, you know, I'm sure accumulate in value <laughs> over time. And I actually was going to buy this because if you are a regular viewer of this channel, you would know that we pulled this card out of a pack, but it had no texturing. Um, I have to do a bit of a video showing the difference because this one is very clearly a normal textured one fully textured um but i don't know if i've got it handy here i've got so many cards ah here it is i'll show it more closely but this the one i pulled is untextured so yeah that's something for a, its own little quick video i think where we have a closer look at that so anyway good to fill the binder spot because i had it blank i didn't want to put that like rare untextured one in the binder i want to keep it in a top loader 
Anyway, uh, I'm rambling again. Let me know what you think, guys, of the mystery packs. Did we get our money's worth? Debatable, maybe. Um, but in the long run, I think yes, definitely. Anyway, let me know what you think. Check out the channel for more videos. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you in the next one. Take it easy.